Only dinner were that easy. Huh, yeah. Dinner's always a production. Okay, we'll try this. Start with a couple cloves of garlic, add about two tablespoons of butter, some fresh Parmesan cheese, and a splash of cream. Now watch this. Simply pop on the top, give it a quick spin, and in one simple step, we ground the Parmesan cheese, chopped the garlic, and mixed all the ingredients together. And now, we're ready to cook. And here's some bullet fast magic that no other machine will do. I'm just gonna twist on one of these vented lids, and I'm gonna put it right into the microwave to cook for about 30 seconds. You're gonna cook with it? Absolutely. So now the machine I just prepared my meal in, I'm also going to cook in without ever dirtying a single pot or pan. Now, while Mimi's slaving over a hot microwave, <laughs> I'm going to knock us up a quick pesto sauce. Are you ready? Big chunk of Parmesan cheese. In goes the garlic. In goes the basil. Look how easy this is. Handful of pine nuts. Just throw them in there. Finish off with a little bit of olive oil. Watch how easy this is. Spin on the top, set the bullet on the base, and now we're chopping the basil, crushing the pine nuts, mincing the garlic, and mixing all the ingredients together. And as fast as you can say, Bob's your uncle, back is your aunt, you've got a beautiful homemade pasta sauce. Now all you need to do is pour it over your favorite pasta. Look at that. And you've got a beautiful homemade Pesto pasta made from scratch in less than 10 seconds. Mm -hmm. And pasta Alfredo. Mm. I'm just gonna whip on the cross blade and pop this on the power base to give it another quick whip. And look at this, you guys. This is amazing. Mm. Now there oh, you've got look at that. piping hot fettuccine Alfredo and a delicious fresh made pesto pasta. Believe me, they are both as good as you've ever tasted. It still needs a little fresh grated Parmesan cheese. Now watch how fast it grates even hard cheeses with no trouble at all, right in the bullet cup. Like that, it's done. Seconds, right? Now I'm gonna put on the shaker top. Remember this? Just twist it on. Look at that, fresh grated Parmesan cheese for your fettuccine Alfredo. Isn't that great? <laughs> Wait a minute. You made two completely different pasta dishes in less than two minutes? It takes me longer than that to make the phone call to order a pizza. Ah, and no great meal is complete without a bit of dessert, right? Right, right, Watch right, this. Right. I'm just gonna mix a little bit of cream with a couple of tablespoons full of chocolate syrup. Look at that. Yum. Watch this. Now I'm gonna screw on the flat blade. That's the whipping blade. Remember that Berman, right? Watch this. <laughs> Give it a quick spin, and have you got six seconds? Then you've got plenty of time to whip up a delicious dessert. Hear that? Mm -hmm. That's it, you're done. And now, look at that. You've got a delicious, fluffy oh. chocolate mousse. It tastes delicious, and you just saw it made in front of your eyes in just mm. six seconds. But if you prefer something a little bit healthier, you know what I mean? Try putting in your favorite frozen fruit. I like mangoes and raspberries. Those are my favorite. And just add a splash of orange juice or for you party animals, your favorite liqueur. Like you. <laughs> Twist on the blade and lock it on the power base. Now it's easy to satisfy that sweet tooth without the guilt. Because in just about eight seconds, You've got fancy, fat-free fruit sorbet with no added sugar. Look at this, you guys. Oh. Finish it off with a little sprig of mint and look at that for a dessert. So nice. Great. Just think, in a matter of minutes, we made breakfast, two different kinds of muffins, a six-second lunch, snacks, two completely different pasta dishes, and two completely different desserts. Hey, all in like what, the last 10 minutes or so? And all without dirtying a single pot or pan. That's really gonna save me a ton of time and trouble in the kitchen. Yeah. It really will, but believe it or not, that's not why Mick and I bought the Magic Bullet. We bought it because it's the... The ultimate party machine, are you ready? <laughs> Watch this, Mick and Mimi's famous 15 minute party. Now I'm just gonna throw some cheese in there, a little jalapeno. It takes one second to put together, and it takes two seconds to make. One, two, what about that? Now I'm ready to put this in the microwave and I'm gonna get this party rolling. And while he's doing that, I'm gonna add a little bit of that cheese, some chicken, a jalapeno, 
I'm going to pop on the top. And watch this. In one, two, three seconds, I've chopped the chicken and grated the cheese. And now I'm going to spread it between a couple flour tortillas. Now I'm going to pop it in the microwave for just about, I don't know, 60 seconds. And here you go, Nick. You're done. Outstanding. Pour that over some chips and uh, nachos, anybody? Oh, yeah, yeah. Nachos, those are my favorites. Look at that. <laughs> or how about a fresh, hot chicken quesadilla? That's incredible. Hey, you know what else a party needs? Dips. Now, watch this. There I've got some avocado. In goes a couple of cherry tomatoes, a little bit of cilantro, and a little bit of jalapeno in there. We're also going to pop in a little bit of garlic. Watch this. Pop on the cross blade in one, two, three seconds. Are you ready? Yep. Instant guacamole. It's fresh. It's delicious. Watch this. It tastes great. And look at that. And I didn't even use a knife. Look at that. But the bullet fast magic that we like best Frozen, frozen drinks. drinks. Now, watch this. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to put some strawberries in there. You're watching carefully, yeah? Yes. Into that, I'm going to pop some ice. Finish it off with some margarita mix. How cool is this? Have you noticed that all the ingredients are going directly straight into the mug? Yeah, how cool is that? Now, watch. On goes the blade. Give it a spin. And watch this, I just lock it into the on position and in just seconds the magic bullet crushes a whole mug full of ice into a smooth, frosty, frozen beverage. So now you've got a fresh, delicious, virgin strawberry margarita, look at that, ready to drink right in its own frosty mug. So everybody gets exactly the drink they want made just the way they like it. And now you can just twist on one of these colored comfort lips to cover up the threads here. And they all come in a different color. So everybody knows exactly which drink is theirs. All right, you guys, come on, let's go. Let's get this party going. I gotta tell you, Mimi, I can see myself using the magic bullet every day. It really is a time saver, but we're just getting started. See this? This turns the magic bullet into the family size bullet blender. So let's say you wanna make a milkshake. Try this. Start with a handful of hard peppermint candy, my secret ingredient. <laughs> Add in a chocolate bar and a squeeze of chocolate syrup. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, don't forget the ice cream. Look at that, plenty of ice cream. Add a splash of milk or more. <laughs> Slip on the top. And now you've got a full-sized bullet blender that does everything you'd expect a big expensive appliance to do. And look. You've got an entire blender full of chocolate, chocolate chip, peppermint milkshake. My favorite. What do you guys taste this? Look at that. Enough uh -huh. for the entire family. But you got to see this because this is what makes the Magic Bullet truly the most versatile kitchen appliance on the market today. With the addition of this ingenious extractor insert, the Magic Bullet that just became the Bullet Blender is now the bullet juicer. You know how we're all supposed to get five to seven servings of fruits and vegetables a day, right? But nobody eats like that. Nobody. Especially the kids. They won't go near a vegetable. Right. Ah, well, we may have a solution to that problem, Wilma. Watch this. Just pop a few pieces of watermelon in there. To that, I'm going to add a couple of pieces of pineapple, rind and all. That just goes right in there. And now I'm going to add a handful of spinach. To that, we're going to pop in a couple of pieces of beetroot. And to that, we're going to add a couple of florets of broccoli. Yuck, I hate broccoli. In just seconds, you have a delicious juice drink filled with the vitamins and minerals of all the vegetables and fruits that just went into it. And you tell me, Berman, can you taste any broccoli in that? Hey, that tastes great. Not like vegetables at all. That's because the taste of the fruit overpowers the taste of the vegetables. You get all the vegetable goodness, but you don't get that yucky vegetable taste. And the kids will never know. You know, I can really see myself using this thing every day of the week. Absolutely. This is the season. Oh my God. Time for dinner. Homeland Housewares. We make love. 